Yes! 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 No! 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 Fuck! Well, hey guys, welcome back to another video. On today, the light ring came out for 1.5, and honestly, it really looks good. I'm very excited for Hurao and then Argent. He looks amazing. Silverwolf is finally back, so the people that missed out and went for Luarchic can finally go get Silverwolf, like the best craft in the game by far. And of course, they also showed the banners of all the events, what's gonna happen. I wanna talk about the banners more specifically because for one, I saw Argent, he's banner was really decent, but who's with banner legit awful? Because for Saturday, you have Dong Hong, Silverwolf, and Arlen. I'll be honest, I don't think anyone uses Arlen because for one, Arlen is decent, but you need so much investment in Arlen. And the fact that he's a force that is Yet me, he's just gonna get outclassed eventually. And also, not to put salt in the wound ball, so I like regard like the worst character in Honkai Star Rail by far. So, yeah, but if you do mind to go for Ireland for Ireland, it's actually not bad, but at the same time, I would never recommend you use Ireland until you like him. But otherwise, I would never recommend you build yourself on Ireland. And then for Dong Hong and Silver, since you get them free, every copy you get will be like an idol. And the idol is actually pretty decent because for one, E4 Dong Hong, basically, if you KO enemy, you get another turn, basically, like CD, minor decision to decent and the fact that he's sick and lower speed but realistically Dong Hong is just gonna get outclassed eventually and unless you like him I wouldn't recommend using him and silver by far is the best 4 star you can get on this banner but realistically you just need E2, E4 and E6 and she's fine because E6 the fact that they apply with a shock effect you do more damage and I forgot what the other island for silver does but I remember it's decent but realistically 4 star DPS probably just gonna get outclassed and eventually but realistically by far she silver like the best um, 4 star unit on this banner by far but realistically I'm kind of unimpressed with the banner because one there are no 4 star that make you want to say oh my god I want to pull because realistically when you pull a 5 star you also pulling on the four stars as well so basically these four stars are not amazing especially for cracked amazing who too because legit who too is legit gonna be freaking broken because who too is a healer that can cleanse that can buff that can give energy back that is just insane i can easy s for who too so it's kind of unfortunate that her four star kind of sucks because i am going for who too and if i can get my hands on who too she will be such a good unit to have because she can still the same buff up my attack at the same time give me energy back Pens, that is amazing. Huru to me seems very broken, so kind of unfortunate her force that kind of suck because they kind of use this to me. But it is what it is, I can just get a lot of currency with that, so eh. And then I want to talk about the Argentian Soul Banner because honestly, they are decent banners. By far the weakest from the bunch is Asta, but basically, Asta is such an amazing unit, especially if you have no other buffing unit. She can buff speed, party wide attack, it's honestly a good time overall. But she's by far the weakest link on this banner, but very good at the same time because then she's free, you get an island on her. And islands are very decent because one, the islands help you get more stack to get the attack buff more easily. And then we have Lynx, and Lynx is a really amazing healer, especially if you play the Shrug unit like Blade or Clara. Because one, if you play Link with someone like Clara or Blade, that's usually more than enough sustain so where you have enough survivability so where your Christian units can survive longer if you have like the variant of Blade or Clara with Lynx on a team. And all of Lynx's islands are so insane because one it keeps benefiting her as a healer and just make her better to use as a healer so which is very amazing and let's talk about Hanya. I think Hanya is just gonna be a, a very insane character on paper because for one, the ability to give kill point back to both attack and a speed for a single target, someone like Jinyu One can really take advantage of this for sure. Seely, like any main DPS will love this for sure. So honestly, Hanya is looking amazing for a sports star buffer unit. So I'm very excited to get Hanya on my gun because for one, she is so extremely hot looking and it looks like she can be very insane as a harming unit. So I'm very excited for that. So overall for Argenti and Solo Banner, honestly this banner is honestly really good in my opinion it by far so much better than hoodwood banner which is kind of disappointing to say but it is what it is and that's what i have to say about hoodwood and argenti banner i think hoodwood banner is absolutely terrible and i think argenti banner is very decent but at the end of the day these are just my opinion <laughs> Well, with all I said, I think that everything I want to talk about for this video. So, with all I said, thank you so much for watching this video. I do appreciate if you made it far. Let me know if you made it far and I'll hot your comment because I would appreciate your support to me. Let me know what you next and let me know what you guys think what I say. You agree with me, disagree with me, this. let me know down below because at the end of the day, I'm not gonna kill you. Meh, probably might kill you, but all comment and with color stuff. Anyway, final thought is I'm very excited for Hutu, but I'm very disappointed at her banner. So I'm just gonna go on Hutu's banner, and when I get Hutu, or if I lose the 50 50 on Hutu's banner, which is most likely gonna happen, I might try my luck on Hanya if I lose the 50 50 on Hutu's banner, because I really want Hanya on my team. But probably I'm just gonna stay for 1.7, because if the leak are true, my favorite character legit coming in 1.7, so I'll probably might stay because I have guaranteed on the Lycon banner if I lose the 50 50 on Hutu, I'll be guaranteed to get that character I want with her LC. It'll be a 
good time we're all but with all i said take care love you guys and i'll see you on the next video goodbye